Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video for XUnit with Selenium video series. And in this video, I'll be talking about how we could run the NUnit tests in parallel. So we have not seen so far the parallel execution in XUnit and this is the first time you're gonna be doing it. So for doing the parallel execution, you don't really have to write anything special because as you know that we are working with the context injection already uh, where we are using the iClass fixture with the web driver fixture. So the object is completely separated already uh, and we're creating it separately for uh, that particular class instance. And each and every class actually shares that particular uh, object. And the most important thing is each and every class has got its own navigation operation and every test uh, is actually independent of other tests. So there is no dependency at all. And that is the most important theory uh, or the practice that we need to follow in XUnit. Each and every test should be independent and they shouldn't be dependent to share some data and things of that nature because that's going to be making your test more brittle. So it's super important to make those tests very independent as possible uh, so that we could able to run the test in isolation in parallel uh, and that's the whole idea of this X unit making more powerful as well. So we have these tests right now, right? I mean, we have two, uh, we have three tests uh, over here. So let's try to create another class file, uh, pretty much like how we have did over here. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna create a another class file. And I'm gonna call this class file as second selenium test uh, class file like that. Uh, let's make this as public uh, and what have we copied before yeah I think that should do let's add all the missing references it's gonna be of X unit uh, and it's gonna be class fixture test uh, navigate which is okay filling the data all right I'm happy with these two tests and I don't want these two tests to be executed once again on the other test that we have written, which is gonna be this side. So I'm gonna remove these tests from here and I'm gonna have only one test for this particular uh, tests over here. So now we have, you can see that uh, if I try probably building this particular project. So you can see the Selenium with context has got a two tests and this guy will have like five tests, but basically it's gonna be filling up the data for us uh, like five times. And this guy is gonna be filling up like two times. So I just wanna make it more uh, longer to be executed. So I'm gonna call this James, James, that's not good. Um, and this is gonna be James password and uh, James at gmail.com, which is cool. Uh, all right. So we have three tests uh, probably. So all good. Now we have things over here. So let's try executing the, them in parallel. What are the things that I'm gonna change on the test? Maybe your question, but as you can imagine, there is not gonna be any change within my code. I am not gonna be doing even a single line of code change. By default, XUnit tests are gonna run in parallel. That is the nature of the XUnit itself. You don't necessarily have to make any change within your code. So the second Selenium test and the Selenium with context, if I try running it, you will see that both these classes are going to run the tests in parallel. So you can see there is one browser over here, which is running the test for us. Uh, oops, I think I just made a mistake. I just have to call this I class fixture of the web driver fixture, my bad. And let's try doing it second time. I'm gonna run this again. So you will see that there is, uh, theoretically it should open two browser for us. This is one browser, this is another browser. You can see it's performing some other operation that like invalid login operation and this guy is doing a register operation and the test completed, which is cool. And there is one test failing, which we know uh, even from our last video, we saw that because there is gonna be an exception coming. We'll try fixing that in our next video. But as of now, you could see that these tests were running in parallel, which is cool. So this is by default, the nature of XUnit, which is gonna make the tests to be running in parallel. 
But now you may ask, like, I don't want to run this test in parallel. Hold on. I want to run these tests to be in sequence, even though they are doing two separate jobs. I don't care. I want to run these tests in parallel uh, in sequence. If you tell like that, then you're going to use a special attribute called as collection. So you're going to mark what is called as a collection for a specific test using this particular attribute. Uh, and you cannot say this. I want to make this as I'm going to run this in sequence. I mean, you can name whatever you want, like James or Harvey Norman, whatever, who cares. You could potentially put any name that you want, uh, but I'm just going to use this sequence. Uh, and then I'm going to go to the Selenium with context over here. And then I'm going to paste this as sequence. So I have given a collection attribute with the same name. So once I do that, and once I try running these tests right now, you will see that they are not going to run in parallel. They're going to run one by one. You can see within the test explorer, they are going to be running first these tests. I'm going to wait for this to complete. And then it's going to start another test, which is going to spawn another browser running pretty slow. And then it's going to do the register operation. So this is how we can control our test execution to not go crazy, run parallelly, rather run in sequence. So this is how you could able to achieve that in XUnit. So by default, the nature of XUnit's test will be running tests in parallel. And now you may also have another question of how that I can run these sequence or parallel test to be uh, running uh, from a command line interface. If you have that question, that's a very good question. I mean, you could do very, very easily using what is called as, so if I just go all the way over here, I've just opened that in the browser, sorry, another window, and I'm gonna go to the bin debug.net 6. And if we just try running it from here, it should run, but because this is a .NET test, I mean, if, if you, if you have the full .NET framework, you will be specifying exactly which test DLL that you need to be using and running it. You don't necessarily have to do all these things with the .NET Core and with XUnit. All you're gonna do is you need to go over here in this particular folder and open the PowerShell. Um, I don't know why there is the spin folder again. LS. So we have this particular project which is good. And now I'm going to do this .NET test. And you can see once I do that, it is going to start running the test for us. So it has already opened the browser for me over here. And you can see that they are starting to run in like one by one, which is cool. Uh, I mean, just don't worry about the failure, which is all right. So it is actually working fine in sequence. That's the operation uh, that we have mentioned over here. So this is the collection. Uh, I think there is an another option within XUnit. I have seen on the documentation running tests in parallel. They have uh, a way to configure that parallel option as well over here. So you can set the max thread uh, and you can also set some options. So do you want to allow the user to specify which kind of parallelization you should be allowed for the test to run? Uh, like none, collections, assemblies or all. So you could specify that as well. Uh, so uh, for example, if our test is by default parallel, we could just say parallel uh, as a none, then it won't run the tests in parallel. So this is how actually the parallel execution of the uh, XUnit is gonna work. And yes, this is, this is how awesome the XUnit's uh, execution is gonna work for us. And this is awesome. So that's it guys. Once again, thank you very much for watching this video. Meet you in our next video.